for, and for every, every family, there's a different language for potty training, you know? Do you need to do a poo-poo, sweetheart? Do you need to do a plop, mate? Have you got to drop the kids off at the pool? Do you need to do a number two? What happened with us was our parents started to use the encouragement as the noun. So, good boy turned into the word for poo. Oh, you've got to do a good boy? You've done a good boy? I'm going to do a good boy. I know, pretty fucking mental, okay? But particularly English, in that very repressed way where rather than call it a poo or a turd or a plop, let's dress it up and pretend it's a little character. Oh, look at the good boy. He's a good boy in his bow tie going down the street. <laughs> and it's, you know, also a very cosseted time between parent and child. It's a very important step in life, isn't it? To learn to do poo in the toilet rather than to shit yourself. I mean, it's a big step and it... <laughs> It sets you in good stead for the rest of your life. <laughs> People appreciate the fact that you've taken that step. <laughs> I mean, there are some aberrations in midlife, of course, where after a three-day bender, you're stuck in traffic and you sneeze heavily and, oh, my God. <laughs> That's a horrible moment because you just don't know what to do. It's like, oh. <laughs> you turn the wipers on. <sighs> Put the hazard lights on. Oh, no. 